Good morning, brother and sister of Christ. Um, I have a few dreams I'm going to share with y'all, and then I'm going to get to y'all what the Lord gave me this morning. First, he got me up with this song again. Jesus saves, Jesus saves, from the cross to the grave, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, from the cross to the grave. Jesus say, Jesus say, Jesus say, from the cross to the grave, Jesus say, so, Jesus say, Jesus saves from the cross to the grave. Jesus saves. <coughs> okay, y'all, let me thank you, Lord. The Lord said, Don't you feel a disaster is near? Right? So much going on, y'all. The Lord said, don't you feel? Oh, excuse my lightning. There we go. That's probably better. A disaster is near, y'all. Things are coming, y'all. And I'm going to get into this because the Lord gave me something, too. Okay. Um. This morning, y'all, the Lord first got me up. I had some dreams. But then he woke me up with this, um. You know how the alert system with the children, somebody, uh, it was talking about somebody, uh, you know, somebody, uh, alert, the alert, the saying, looking for people, the children, somebody, children was kidnapped or something on your phone. They do that emergency uh, alert. Oh, so he got me up and it was only on two, one and went on one of my phones and I hit the end. So I went back to sleep. I was going back to sleep. Then he started on my other phone. So I had to get up. And go walk way to the other side and cut it off on that phone. So he wanted to make sure I get up. <coughs> so as I was getting up, I hear this word about children and inheritance. And so the Lord told me about inheritance and the children, y'all. Because also go back to my dream. Okay, let me... Let me do this about the dream, right? Because the Lord told us about land. Let me tell y'all about my dream. Thank you, Lord. I had two of them. I had many of them, but I'm only going to share how many the Lord let me share, right? Okay, y'all. I was, I was like at this place in Africa. I don't know why, Lord, do you have me in Africa? But I understand he's talking about, you know, we're going to get to what he's telling me about. So, you know, in Africa, uh, they have them brick buildings. And it made like out of uh, clay, that brown clay or something. You know how it is. And so as I'm, I'm in Africa, I'm standing at the door and I see nothing but Caucasian people blending in with the black people. But it's a lot of them. And they up and down, you know, how to, uh, they uh, dancing, you know, to the music and all that. So they're having a good time. Then I look outside the door. They made, it's a road that they traveling on. Then the Lord let me look again, look down. It's the market. They, the Caucasian people, these uh, took over the uh, took out, took over Africa, like the Lord said in slavery days. Took over the people land, buy them out, and the people thinking that they they are having fun with these people that they're just tourists and they visiting, but they not. Cause then later on the Lord told me, showed me in a dream that they were sneaking behind like a conversation, saying that they had them fooled, thinking they over there just visiting the land. Coming over there to be terrorists, I mean, not terrorists, tourists, and they just, uh, um, just visiting, you know, coming to visit and enjoy their land and see what's up, but the whole town buying it from up under them. And it was naive. Okay, so then that one dream, then I walk, I think I, the Lord had me walk to another place in the same in Africa. 
this man, I, I don't know, I was standing by this man and this man was watching this show. <coughs> and in this show, it was two women. It was two small swimming pools. You know how they have the children's swimming pool? They were plastic. One woman was in one pool and the other woman, it was a black woman in this pool and a white woman in this pool. Say Caucasian, I ain't saying white. Uh, what in the pool. <laughs> well, black and white in the pool. And so, they next to each other in the pools, right? Standing up. You want me about the Marine Spears, y'all. So he's standing there. And the two women standing with each other. And they facing each other inside the pool. And the pool had dirty water in it. And the water, it wasn't full to the top. It was just a little bit of water. So, you know those old Coke bottle glasses from way back in the days. And drinking bottle glasses. But the old-fashioned one, before they had Coke soda water. Like, with the Coke written on it. It was the old-fashioned uh, jars. That look like a Coke soda. So they get the both of them on each side, got the glasses, right? The the uh bottles, and was going down to the bottom and dipping the water. I didn't put it into the bottle. And they pulled them on themselves. Then they pulled it over themselves again, filling themselves with dirty water. Then the black lady got into the pool with the white lady. And they started laying down like this, up under each other, like culling a spoon in each other. And I told that man, he laughing, thinking it's entertainment. For them, I told him, I said, this is witchcraft. So he looked at me. I said, this is witchcraft. And then that, no, no, that's all I went to with the dream. Out of the dream, I'm trying to think what else happened. But I called it out and I said, this is witchcraft. He think he entertaining. But look, two of the same race. Black and white. In the pool, y'all. Lord just speaking so much. See, see this the emergency thing went off, y'all. <laughs> It's emergency alerts. This what came on this morning. <coughs> so, uh, but you know, Lord give us warning, y'all. That's why they went back off again. Gonna cut that off. You see, they going off another of mother phone yet. Thank the Lord. But that's a warning. Lord said, what? Because maybe he told us at first, don't fear destruction is near. Something he said, disaster is near. He just told us. So he told me this is a warning because I cut this off. Now, so, the Lord warning us. And I'll come back to some other dreams he tell me. But them two, this what he got me telling me about. Land. The inheritance. How Satan and them, how they stole the land, still stealing people land and all this. Because the land is the most important thing. Because Satan also stealing the land because it's spiritual and physical, right? Okay, let me go into them, my notes. That's why they don't mind you buying houses and cars. They like you buying all this stuff. Your materialistic house and car. Everything they want you, they, they okay with you buying because you, you buying, they, you, then you making them money. But they don't want you to have no land. As soon as you get land, they get mad. Because the land is important. Okay, because the Lord told me also, the reason why Satan, after the land, what, what the Lord promised us? He said, heaven on earth. You get two things, heaven and earth. Both of them are lands. Land to the promise. The promise is heaven. That's land. Also, also, uh, he want heaven on earth. He promised us this land. So, he told me in the Bible, first he started off with Adam. He promised Adam land. He gave him the garden. He didn't promise him with no clothes. Adam and Eve was naked. He first gave him a garden. The land. Then he said he gave Abraham land. He gave Isaac land, Moses land, Jacob land. He said, I promise you this land. And which is land in both physical and spiritual. Heaven and earth. Because he gave us dominion over earth. But this was Satan want to steal from people. He steal your soul. He, take, he, he want to steal earth. Earthly things which you've been stealing out. Uh, <laughs> what God gave us. The land, your inheritance and everything. And also he want to steal your soul. So you can't even promise yourself into heaven. So he see robbing you both ways. This is what the Lord got me to start off with the dream and got me back. And he said also the inheritance, because a rich man, the Lord promised us to have our inheritance, I mean, our land, to pass it down to your children, children. Just grant, you should have enough money and, and wealth to have a land so you can have it ready for your unborn children. And when you give dominion over your land, he told us that he gave us dominion over the fish, uh, the cattle, everything that we had was ours. Inheritance, our land, spiritual and physical. Which you're supposed to be teaching our kids also this that about the kingdom of God to let them know they rich too. But Satan, your uh, value, your value, your identity. So he's still he robbing you two ways, y'all. So the Lord gave me with this, and he said, 
These people, they think that's why he tell us not to be lovers of the world. Because this lovers of the world out here, this materialistic stuff, is the world of Satan to have you in this world. Because he, he, he gave you your soul with this world. Which is going to rob you out of going to heaven. So he robbing you both ways. When you can have everything in the Lord. Yeah. Freedom. Everything. Because these people in this, and when I went through this, I mean, when the Lord had me in the dream in Africa, they thinking they was all cool, hanging in with them. Oh, they enjoying them. They entertainment with them. You know how it was. They all in there dancing entertainment for them. Yeah. Went over there buying, they made a road, using, driving the cars. And it was so many of them took over their land, they snuck in on them. And they didn't even know they over there just naive. Whole time seeing that they over there, uh, talking about how stupid they is. They were over there to take, a, take the land from them. Cause try to be nice, but also, you know how slavery days they have you to feel like you have to bow down and, and don't say nothing to the the master, the Caucasian or whatever different color it is, y'all. Whoever have, the Lord told us this. So they have so the Lord telling me this, uh, we are wealthy. You're not wealthy until you have land. Even on earth right here, you're not wealthy until you have land. Land is so why you think they buying all this land up? When the sickness coming, everything they robbing you from your land, your businesses and everything. Satan, you good as long as you don't buy no land, cause he still got you both ways, materialistic everything. That's what God said. Don't be a lover of this world, cause you'll be a lover of this world. You're an enemy to me, because the thing is, you gotta understand, you got everything in the Lord, but Satan. Rob you out of your land. Land is the most important. That's why he after the earth. He want hell on earth. Just like God said he want heaven on earth. <coughs> and when he gonna come to that mark of the beast. And he already see what you so much in love with. That people don't left you so far from the Lord. Don't have no faith. That's the main thing. Faith. They don't have no faith. The faith in the Lord to give us everything. That you free and everything. Stronghold mindset on people. Steady robbing. Lord got me in this. It's about even the children. So he's stealing your kids' inheritance. Well, remember the Lord said people ain't teaching their kids about the Lord. None of this. Got your kids. So now, what's saying after generation? What what that about? He'll, he'll go about that, that, that uh, 5G in there. It went 4G, 5G, generation. He'll go six. Generations. They think they sleep, but God telling us right now. He's giving us signs. 4G, 4, 4 generation, 5 generation. Now they don't went up to six generations. That's why I said, with all this, had different, all of them got different stuff for different generations. That's why things happening. That's why they had different categories. This, this section, this, this category, let's do the older people first. Here go this, uh, these uh, middle-aged people. Let's do them. Then let's do the children. Generation after generation. All this got different with generation categories. They got a plan. And then here they go with the four. Here go with the five. Here go with the six. That done came up with a six. They ain't gonna get rid of the children because that's their next future. They wanna use your kids. They act out with children. Because your children inherited the land. They don't want, they don't even want you to have your kids with the land. The same way they rob your gener your ancestors, it's going down. Same thing. Lord said, land. He said, didn't I say heaven on earth? Earth, what are them two? Heaven is a land, promised land, and he promised us heaven on earth. Gave me this. <coughs> Same devil say want to do. And what they, oh, thank you Lord. And the Lord said, what they fighting over now? War. Over land. Land. What come in your land? Well, what's all on your land? They take it from you. You got your crops on your land. You got your house and, and your house is worth money. Inside your house, they taking, you got your possessions. You got gold on your land. You got, uh, people got diamonds on their land. All kinds of stuff on your land. All on your land. Everything on your land. Your riches and glory. Just like God got us with his, he'll give us everything he supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. Remember he went up on uh, 40 days and Satan test, uh, tried to t uh, tempt him. And what Satan told him? If you, you go on and jump and do this, then I give you all this. The world, his, his riches and glory. The world, what he promised him? The world, the land. And, and the Lord already knew he had it with his father. Y'all, God got me in this this morning. And so let's go on here because I looked up different scriptures. <coughs> it's so many scriptures, verses talking about land that the Lord promises. I'm going to link this link down. If I'm able to do it on my phone, I'm going to give it to y'all. Y'all need to look at it. Excuse me, y'all. Deuteronomy 26, 1. Then it shall be you, when you enter the land which the Lord, you, Lord your God gives you, 
as an inheritance. You possess it and live in it. Then the Lord gave us all land and inherit. He said, you possess it and you live in it. He promised all land. He started back with, with Eve. I mean, with Adam. Then went to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. It went on down. Moses. He had, Moses went to Egypt and promised the people, uh, led them to the promised land. Promised land with the Lord is promised land, the land that was promised to them. And what Pharaoh was after them, because he didn't want them to reach the promised land, the land. That's why the demons, when they fell down out of heaven, and they want to get territory, they land. Then they come up their religious. They land what they own. They still doing the same thing now. So here go Exodus 32, 12. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servant at whom you swore by yourself and said to them, I will multiply your descendants and the stars of heaven and all this land of which I have spoken. I will give to your descendants and they shall inherit it forever. Who is that? Your kids, your descendants, your generation, your children. They ain't worried about this materialist stuff because they you get into that. They, they worry about that. Oh, we make money. We'll sell this. They're going to buy cars. They buy chains. They buy uh, they buy clothes. All that materialist stuff. They buy TVs. Because they they're still getting money because they making it. they still making money. But go get some land. They even now, I told you when um I was doing this old lady here in this country out here where I'm at. And she was sad because white man come knocking on her door even though she Caucasian. She white. Old lady. They try to rob the woman land from her and her husband died a long time ago, years. He left her that land, her house. They, they now they'll buy you out. If they if you don't sell your land willingly, they'll force you out. Buy it up under you, sneak it from you, steal it, steal it from you. Cause they wanted to make it into a city. And the lady was just upset. Cause I truly believe that's that woman land. You shouldn't do nothing. They still trying to force the lady to buy to get her land. If you don't if you don't do it willingly, they still find a way to force you out so they can build on it. The land. Cause they're building all this stuff on the land, but still making money. Building Amazon, Prime, whatever that is, all that. If they're building all these businesses, why? Cause they still gonna contribute. You're gonna buy from it. You still gonna order from them. You can still they doing that buying, putting stores, putting houses, still money, stealing your wealth. And all this land that they building off on came from your, your ancestors. Help you build stole the land from you and then had you to help build them houses and stuff on the land. Tell you, everybody with different, they didn't fall in that tree, that color. How you with the Hispanic sisters them too? Everybody, who slaves in your family? Just, just, I'm just telling this because some of the Lord talking to me about my kind. There's so much, my color. <coughs> but yeah, how you still building on it? Farming on their lands? Because you had you slaves on their own land. Sold your land, didn't have you working on, on their land. Building it to benefit them. Y'all, but, um, I'm going to put these links at the bottom, y'all. So y'all get into it. Because the Lord, it was 57 of them. And y'all know I'm not going to go through that. But the Lord gave me this morning, y'all, too. Gave me Ezekiel eight, um, 38 and 39. And it's talking about judgment on God. On God. On God. G-O-G. -G, and then God army destroyed and the burial of God. Ain't they having a war over there now? Let's go, y'all. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel 38, 18. And it will come to pass at the same time when God comes against the land of Israel, says the Lord God, that my fury will show my face for my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath I have spoken. Surely in the day there shall be a great earthquake in the land of Israel so that the fish of the sea, the birds of the heavens, and the beasts of the fields, all creeping things that creep on the earth, Still talking about the earth and all and all men who are the face of the earth, who are the face of the earth, shall shake in my presence. Huh. Then the Lord gave me something about a, a great shaking and a, a a great awakening, a mighty shaking or something. He gave me y'all shaking on the earth. Y'all, God, steady speaking. Let's see what He said right here, y'all. The earth shall shake in my presence. The mountains shall be thrown down, and steep places shall fall, and every wall shall fall to the ground. I will call for a sword against Gog throughout all my mountain, said the Lord God. Every man's sword will be against his brother. Then I will bring him to judgment, to my judgment, with pestilence and bloodshed. I will rain down on him, on his troops, and on many people who are with him, flooding rain, Great hailstones, fire, and brimstones. Thus I will magnify 
<coughs> myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. And you, son of man, prophesy against Gog and say, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, the prince of Rosh, Mesh Meshech, and Tubal. And I will turn your, you around and lead you, and lead you on, bringing you up from the far north and bring you against the mountains of Israel. I will knock the bow, the bow out of your left hand and cause the arrows to fall out of your right hand. You shall fall upon the mountains of Israel, you and all your troops and the peoples who are with you. I will give you to birds of prey of every sort and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. You shall fall on an open field. To my land again, open field. For I have spoken, said the Lord, and I will send a fire of a Magog, Magog, and on and on those who live in security in the coastland. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. So I will make my holy name known into the midst of my people, Israel, and I will not let them profane my holy name any more. Then the nations shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. Surely it is coming and shall be done, said the Lord God. This is the day of which I have spoken. Then those who dwell in the cities of Israel will go out and set on, set on fire and burn the weapons, both the shields and the buckler. Look, y'all, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and arrows, and the javelins and uh, the javelins, javelins and spears. And they will make fires with them for seven years. Then I will not take wood from the field, nor cut down any of their forests, because they will make fire with weapons. And they will plunder those who plunder them, and uh, pillage those who pillage them, said the Lord. The Lord still talking about land, and he'll tell you that, that's why I said that he said this earth will fade away. Because like people fighting Satan, and they fight over land. The Lord trying to heal the land. And they fighting over land. Satan. Said to my land, y'all. It will come to pass in that day that I will give Gog burial, a, a burial place there in Israel, the valley of those who pass by east of the sea, and it will obstruct travelers. I mean travelers. It will obstruct travelers. I mean travelers. <clears throat> because they because there they will bury Gog and all his multitude. Therefore, they will call it the Valley of Hammon. Ham and Gog, for seven months the house of Israel will be buried, will, will be buried them in order to cleanse the land. I told you to cleanse the land. The Lord, I was say, God healing the land. He's going to destroy this because Satan trying to do it. And he, he, Lord trying to, it's a fight, y'all. The Lord said this earth will fade away. Indeed, all the people of the land will be buried and they, and they will gain, uh, gain re owned for it on that day. I am glorified, said, said the Lord God. They will set apart men regularly, regularly employed with the help of search parties to pass through the land and bury those bodies remaining on the ground in order to cleanse it. To cleanse it. And even, and I mean, at the end of seven months, they will make a search. They, the search party will pass through the land and when everyone sees a, a man bone. A man's bone, he should set up a mark, a marker by it till the barriers have buried it in the valley of Ham and Gog. I mean Gog. Ham and Gog. The name of the city will be named Hamon. Then they shall cleanse the land. <coughs> yeah, the Lord gave me this right here. Talk my land. And that war. The Lord said they're fighting. It's going, this ain't going to be the first war. They fighting all over the world. And Lord, I already told him what he's going to do about Babylon and America. going to see in the smoke. This man, ain't, he got involved in this stuff. and All in the midst of it. And just don't know they done turn and they turn against him. He's stupid. But God, we ain't going to say stupid. Y'all, Lord, let everything happen for a reason because the Bible got to fulfill itself. But the Lord gave me this time about land, inheritance. All this is over land. And they take over the land. What's in it is theirs. That mean the houses, the car, the people, the slavery. That was God told us way back then. They come over here, they don't care about humanity. These people owe these people land, money, and everything.
everything. If you don't give me my money, I'm going to take my land. I'm going to get it some kind of way and everything in this land. Your people, everything. Your houses, your car, your businesses. It's just the same thing. Lord got me into this, y'all. This one. Start off with this uh, alert about them children. Somebody, uh, some child missing. And then the Lord said that, that alert he did just now was a warning. Let us know. And I said, get your house in order with the Lord. Because you got to understand you got somewhere to go. This world, we all got to fade away. You like a vapor, just like this world fading away. Everything in it gonna fade away. They ha they having a war, fighting over it. Got stuff in the air, steady coming on. Stuff coming. Birds falling out the sky. I see somewhere in New York. These people walking their dogs somewhere, and um, where the dogs pass over the sidewalk, electricity just started sh shocking the dogs. One person dog died, and they talking about something about some waves or some electric waves come through and shock the animals, but it didn't shock the owners. I mean, the people that had the dogs. They're talking about uh, something about the winter storms or something tricking with the lines. Now they're doing all this with this six, this owl, all this stuff going on, animals. The Lord said all this stuff going to happen. He said, what did he say, plagues, pestilence? He doing stuff, Satan doing stuff. He trying to heal the land, Satan trying to do this, so he got to fight back. It's a war, fighting over land. And the Lord fighting over trying to save his people and the land and let us know we're free. But you don't know you're free in the Lord. You over there.